next is going to be the match between Team Army Genesis versus TNC Predator in the Base of 3 series. Womi, he might go for another burst, right? He's he trying to act like he's running away, getting his teammate ready for the fight, going burst, striking right? and illuminate. That's what I'm talking about. Nice trap set by Womi and Naman. Yep, definitely going to be a kill. All going to die. 800 HP, definitely not enough to stand. Storm Spirit, level 6. Ball blinding. But hey, that's level 2. <laughs> it's so hard to take that ogre down. Ideally, you just leave the Luna alone, but Ooh. she's going to be fresh if she's left totally alone. Yeah, man, look at that. That's quite dangerous positioning here. But hey, the teammates of TNC rotated on top. Cloud and Sand King inside the Sandstorm. He bursts right to the high ground. Can he get away? No. Your way. Ball lining falling up. And then that's going to be the kill on the core. But now Dragon Form's being used. They're going to come back mid to defend. The Bloodlust is Dragon. Yeah, aiming for the Dragon Eye. They're trying to walk back to the high ground for the Dragon Eye. Waiting for the support. Instead, get triple team, quadruple teams. So Dragon Eye going to go down. But once again, that the uh, TNC committed a lot. Trying to wrap around. Jumping in, start the fight off with the Dragon Tail. Uh, your way is a target. Uh, landing, nice save by the uh, Febby. But let's take a look what's gonna happen after that. Bot moving into the battlefield, getting ready for his Ravage. He doesn't have the blink dagger, and finally the first Ravage comes out. Uh, who stays in the front lines of Dragon? Uh, is that Sand King? Tanking all the damage. But it looks like TNC damage insufficient. Yo, what? Oh, catching that your way. Dropping quite low, running out of mana already. Trying so hard to stay alive, but he died behind the trees. That's that. Things that I worry about in TNC. All right, now let's take a look. Ogre Magi getting caught. What? Oh, first strike. Oh, he's still alive for Ogre Magi, and now the fight goes on. No, it become the big fight for the first time. Mensa DB shooting for free. Nobody even spot him. He stay near the Roshan pit, shooting everyone for free. Oh, fire blast comes out. Young God just need to crawl away back from the dead. My goodness. Seems to be a good fight for Army Genesis, but the next thing I know is Army Genesis lost three. But the two cores still there. They get one back. Feels like Rubik needs like a good, like he needs that fire effect or something. Coming down the stair, diving to the mid-tier one tower, the ravage on two. This is gonna be a definitely too easy kill for TNC. A great decision making, and now they go for more. Asura running out of mana. He doesn't have the dragon form as well. But it would be hard to take him down with that 2k HP and a lot of armor. All right, no Febby, no Io. So, oh, looks like they're catching someone down the river, running out of the mana once again, being slowed by the Keeper of the Light as well, and throwing some flashbang to knock him back. Burlo Strike, get rid of that your way. This is not looking good for Team TNC. It's time to just push the mid-tier two title, maybe. Oh, they almost got another call, which is a tight hunter. They're grouping up for Team TNC, looking for a fight. What is going on around there? Luna, Ravage need to be released in order to save Luna alive, but it still cannot save Luna anyway. Young God falls. Oh, God prevailed. Oh, my. Bok is trying to just walk back to the high, high ground, and then that's it. Yeah. All right. Now into the triangle. The Burrow swipe first. Now here we go with the Eclipse and all the stuff in the small area to get rid of Omi first. No chance for Omi to land hits at his center, but however, Asura on the BKB <laughs> slash one off. It seems like Ruby gone. Bob doesn't have. Oh, he's still holding on the air. Uh, the rabbit. Will he use it? He's dropping half HP already for that Bob. Okay, he's trying to walk away. He's just going to keep the Ravage first. Stone Gaze comes out and Box is dumped away. It's time to regroup and go for more. We are at the high speed team fight game around here. Flying Ravage. in and aiming for that Medusa. Finally a Ravage in. What a hole from that Box. Patient from Box. Seems like he's going to pay it off. It's where it falls. But the Dragonite jumps into the scene and two board back from Army Genesis side is going to force in TNC back inside the base. Blue eye white dragon is in the front line. Now he can read one off, throwing the fresh bang as well. Next one gonna be Luna, young god, drop in front of his own base once again. No damage, no damage, no damage. Like TNC just can't kill anybody. This DK and Medusa are just too tanky though. But um, look at that, Asura. 
like you say, uh, Asura, DB, pretty unkillable Storm? right now. Trying to get the back lines. They found Storm though. Oh, Yo way. Oh man, Asura really reaction is very fast. Okay, Saving your teammates over there. And it's going to be Team PNC instead to drop here. And it looks like the formations of Team PNC spreading out. This is quite dangerous. H is uh, belong to Team Army Genesis for sure. Pick it all up and start the fight. I don't know why they hang around there when they know that they are not going to contest anyway. Now being saved by Febby, but Fe Febby surely goes down. Asura put a lot of fire down on the floor. Block, block. Now he being forced to the rabbit in order to save his teammate's life, but he's still holding it on. Burrow strike in. Oh, and for that bot, he still keep on the rabbit. Walking away. Varys dropping quite low. The one who stays in the middle oh. is Luna. And Luna falls. Young God die with no buyback. He can do anything, um, ranging from the crowd control. Um, sink and pick off, and also the late game entrance. Going in, Burrow strike. Uh, the Rabbit finally being released, but in order to save that Carlo, I don't think they can save their own throne. Flying no. in for your way. None of the BKB so it can be saved from all the chain stunts. And then that's it, it, ladies and gentlemen. Army Genesis only a few steps away from taking the first game of the series in the most important series of DPC Tour 2. Half HP already yep. for the throne. Can they take down that Medusa? Oh, okay. oh, and they a bit about to go down and still trying to fight for the last time. Is the cliff comes out, but your way lost his life as well as the game. And then that's it, said Army Genesis 1 0. The second game of the series and the current score is Army Genesis 1 and TNC Preton 0. I, mean, I think Beastmaster takes a little bit to come online. Level 3 with the double 4 is where you're usually strongest. No, oh, this is first time getting gone on for Carlo, dropping quite low, being chased by AM. First blood actually happens on bottom lane. It's for me, strike one off. I didn't see how that happens, but that actually kind of surprised me. I thought the lane going well for for Young God. And look at that. Next thing I know, is two lanes being slashed down by Team Army Genesis. Bottom lane, they go on Womi. Okay, follow me. Burrows right down to the river. Neutral creeps to kill your way. He was hit by the arms. Um, follow me. And slashed down by Febby. Maybe he'll change his mind because, yeah, not going Yules before Blink seems oh. very odd. This is top actually lane. the first time uh, ganking on the top lane. They aiming for a support. Oh, oh my! Uh, that man, I didn't even see that one coming! Look at this. Catching yeah. first. Catch that bomb with the shackle, down to the tree. Quite an easy catch, but hey, here we go, right after that. Uh, it's a trade. Carlo slash off that Maris. PA looks like he's ready to fight. He's now level 10 and trying to find that people in the tree line. And they find that Asura getting slashed by PA. Two hits only. Young God, it's here. Very nice, they're not done. They found Womi too. Oh no, Womi gonna be a next victim for sure. Young God, wherever he goes, he's just like the Conan the detective. Everywhere he goes, somebody dies. First strike. First oh, strike. Oh my goodness, that was a great one. And then dying one by one. Skeletons as well, but they got cleared out. And the fight's not over. They yeah. Land another shackle. Chaco and also the arrow. AM! Oh, mana void! Fab be gone, uh, but he might lose himself as well. It was about a strike. AM goes down, killing three, ended by your way. Man, I mean, Genesis looks where they want to get something out of that loss. Ooh. It might be Carlo, but that ankle break and dodging the arrow at close range. However, he gets hit by the barrel strike and he will go down eventually is no primal roar so they are looking for another big team fight finding that young god is slashing the creeps here burrow twice sending it all up in swell everything jumping in starfall it's young god falls and they might can catch more it's bog they found bog right here but Feby is around to heal people dr Feby is here ladies and gentlemen you are safe and stop sprint being relocated away to another hospital okay it's time to just diving in and this series deserves like 2-1. Okay, let's go for more. It's gonna be Carlo. Nice bomb using the Primal Roar in order to stop the invader. And it's Antimate jumping away. That's the effect of Benka, but he being chased out. Oh, oh Antimate! Oh, no. Down, but Storm also goes down. He used the uh, Mana Void before he died. 
So yep. this. Yo, wait for me. Everything. He dove in with his entire mana pool and just turned himself into a pinata. Double damage. Win Ranger. Easy. Finish off Febby. Ami Jinnis doesn't have a Sand King, but Sand King teleported down. Will it that gonna be? Oh, jumping in. Telekinesis. Do you ever live? AM, who's gonna pick it up? It's DB stealing the edges away from Team TNC and trying to clean everyone up around here. Ami Jinnis has need to fall back into the base. No choice left for them. Primal Roar in order to just fall back. But no, Bob Bean shares around, he's running out of NP Burl, swike in. Young God double kill though. PA seems to be the last home of Team TNC. Last one alive, anti man to the whole oh, Aegis Barrel and Mother Boy kills a 3v1. Can he make it? He jumped away. Oh my. Wow. Ooh. And they can always relocate in and then Storm's got that catch, so. TNC want to keep fighting. DB on the front line, like this AM with the Aegis is a really powerful force. Oh, a big, big fight happening in the middle lane. East well works it so well. But hey, mana boy, kill your way down first. Uh, the race of Team TNC running out of mana. Fed me down at the river. Next one gonna be Carlo. What? All right, five man smoking, only showed PA inside. And it looks like TNC knows that. Oh, they start to fight first with the barrel strike in. But no way. Oh, you set the promo raw, everything. They clear the back right first. Now, man, oh, young god had him. Oh, my, in the pocket, uh, Wormy using the epicenter, trying to force everyone of TNC away. Reinformation once again. Asura into the front line. Running very fast, trying to buy some anchor to do the shackle on two. That's not looking good. Oh man, that's maximizing damage. But have HP, young god being saved by Dr. Peppy once again. He will relocate and Peppy killed that Wormy. The rest of Team Army Genesis need to retreat as they lost a big team fight this time around. It's time to go and it's time to contest. Wormy gonna be the first one to do the barrel strike into the pit. He is definitely gonna go and Young God pick up the agency time around. Well, Wormy melted down in the middle of TNC players. Now they are pushing out the Roshan pit and trying to slant it all. The next one gonna be Asura. Asura falls uh, on the back line. Definitely not gonna make it. Double kill for your way. The last two of Team Army Genesis has got away. Could just be, yeah, lane of racks. They're not flying back. They're instead gonna give up the racks here and TNC will happily take that. Now I gotta do something. They cannot afford to lose the second set of rank for Team Army Genesis, but what they're gonna do? Burrow strike inside. He trying to just run away. He used after the first. There goes the first side of the PA. Primal Raw comes out. Oh, slashing on that DB. He doesn't have it. The buyback. No more. All the back line will fall. And that probably gonna be the end of this game for Team Army Genesis. But yeah. win Ranger Nick. Bot back. Okay. Killing the PA is nice. They broke the Aegis killer again, but Allies. the issue is going to be you're now down two lanes of Raxxon. Yeah. What they found here? They found Bok. Ballot, ballot, yeah, Burrow Swike on two. But hey, yeah, the formation is not looking good. Naman going to fall. He trying to leave. I won't be able to do so. Next one is going to be Sand King. Slowly getting to the third game of the series. Army Genesis. I just trying to push toward the bomb tier 2. But looks like it's time our army genesis is going to fight. Epicenter landed perfectly. A young god slash Nama and Wari is gone, but he bought back immediately. Chapter oh, strike on two. Oh, man, melt that. Oh, army genesis stream is still alive right there. And it's free course now for Team TNC. Just when we thought there's no hope left for Team Army Genesis. They split into two groups for TNC in the moment, two and three, but they have a real okay when something big happening. Promo Raw! Man, that was an easy mistake made by the Sand King. He doesn't have that much HP, but hey, put that. Oh, looks like in danger too for the anti mage anti mage fall! No buyback! Oh no, what a mistake made by Team Army Genesis in such a crucial time! Oh, the been wasted. To the high ground, the bomb tier 3 tower. Burrow strike gain, they need to hold and waiting for the anti mage for at least 25 seconds. Can they hold? A young god, where is he? Warm me god with no buyback, one and a half minutes. Next one gonna be Mirana, he's trying all the leave, but it's all fall. So, this is a GG call. Game 3, let's go. 